In a recent video, I went into detail about a new bike that I purchased. Since then, I've been gathering a few accessories, starting with King Sir's Bicycle Bag Series. This particular item comes with two bags, one on the right side and one on the left for easy storage. It also includes a bag just for your cell phone, which is sealed so it protects it from water and dust. I really like this bag because it attaches to the bike easily, it hardly takes up any space, it's very convenient, and it allows easy access. Without taking up too much space, these side bags are large enough to hold a variety of sizable items, such as this 15,000 milliamp power bank by Kamashi. It also has plenty of room for items such as the RII Mini i8 Plus Mini Wireless Keyboard Mouse Combo and a Galaxy Note 5. The sealed bag on top is designed to hold touchscreen smartphones that are up to about 6.1 inches, so it holds my Galaxy Note 5 perfectly. Before I put the phone in the bag with the protective cover, I just wanted to demonstrate how the fingerprint scanner works properly and the touchscreen functions as well. Another cool thing about this phone bag is that it's detachable. And it's detached and reattached by very strong velcro. I really like how this bicycle bag hardly takes up any space and the location of it makes for easy access to my phone. When you open up the bag you notice that it has two velcro straps on the inside which holds the phone or whatever device you decide to put in there like maybe a um, GPS device. It holds it very securely the Velcro is just as strong as the one that attaches the bag itself to the bag that's on the bike. And you just place your phone in there and you close the flaps. And because it's flaps like that, it's adjustable. So, you know, your phone could be a little thicker and it would still fit perfectly. You could also put money or credit cards in there as well and still have room for your phone. And then you just easily attach it right back to the bag on the bike. Now, with the plastic protective covering, the one thing I did notice is that the fingerprint scanner does not work, which you know, is really not a problem because as long as the touchscreen functions itself works, then that's okay. But I just tried it a couple of times just to make sure. Earlier in the video, you saw that I used the fingerprint scanner before I put it into the pouch and it worked. But through the plastic, it won't work, so no problem. So I'll swipe in my code. I'm back. I'm in now. And uh, I can perform all the basic functions that I need to do on the phone as if it was outside the pouch. But I can do this while I'm riding or even if I'm stopped, I don't have to take it out of the protective covering to use it. I can use it, you know, as it is in the pouch. And as you can see here, you know, anything that I do as far as swiping and selecting apps works perfectly fine. The next thing I got was a new rear backlight for my bike. Um, this old one that I have by Bell, uh, it works fine. Um, all the functions still work properly. You know, it has different flash settings, whether you want it steady or flashing fast or pulsating. So that works fine. But I had gotten this new one and it just has a uh, little extra stuff on it. And I'll just hang on to this in case I get a second bike. Now this new one is very similar. It's just got a different shape, like it's like a diamond type shape. But it has, you know, the different settings like, you know, flashing and pulsating and a solid, steady light, you know. But um, the unique feature about this is these two little laser beam lights that show on the side of the bike. And it's, yeah, I'm sure it's a little gimmicky, but it's just, I thought it was just a cool feature to have. Um, and this is kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. And uh, this is also what it looks like at night because sometimes I do ride my bike at night. And uh, I don't know if that may be just a good thing to help uh, with better visibility, especially if you're, you know, riding around and uh, there's a lot of traffic at night, which there is sometimes. And uh, or it could just, you know, just be something for you, you know, something just for the look or just something to help you guide you where you're at. But like I said, it's more gimmicky than anything, but I thought it was a cool feature. And other features still works as well. So while it's flashing. And you can see. It also has different settings. It can flash fast, flash slow, you can turn it off. Um, 
uh, and you could also have it just solid. Another accessory I got to have while enjoying a nice bike ride uh, are these Jam Transit Mini Buds. These cool wireless Bluetooth earbuds have tiny magnets on the side so that when you're not listening to your music, you can wear it around your neck and it'll attach to hold it securely around your neck so you don't lose them. The charging port is on the top of the right earpiece. And besides the fact that it charges quickly and easily, it has these other very cool features that I truly like. It has up to seven hours of playtime. It's sweat resistant, it has a magnetic connection which I talked about, onboard controls, a secure fit, it's rechargeable, it's Bluetooth up to 50 feet away, hands-free calling, which is a plus, and it's pre-charged so when you first get it, you can use it right away. It has a custom fit device that I truly love, and the secure lock feature and loops help keep them in place. And finally, as you can see, the color of my bike is a nice black matte finish with a nice lime green. And I just so happened to find these shoes from New Balance with the same color. <laughs> and uh, I normally don't get New Balance, but when I saw these in the store, I just had to get them. I also found this top. And it's like a muscle tee. And it's by Russell, I believe. And it has the same colors. You know, and it's a unique color to find. But I found it just looking around. And uh, this is good also for visibility when I'm riding, you know, either at night or just in the daytime. Um, and it's a good material. I've already worn it. And uh, it's very comfortable and breathable. And uh, I really like it a lot. And yep, I found some shorts to match that. <laughs> uh, I couldn't believe it when I saw it, but I had to get them. And these are also by Russell. The cool thing about these is a lightweight material on the outside. And on the inside, it's almost like a neoprene type feel. But it's like a, it feels like a leg compression type short. So it's elasticy and it's like form fitting, but it hugs your legs uh, without being too tight. So and it just really uh, provides for a good ride. And of course, I had to hook it all up together. Well, these are some of my accessories. And there's nothing really major about these things. It's just that they just add a little bit more enjoyment to an already enjoyable bike ride. Um, if you hadn't seen my previous video on the new bike that I had purchased, then look down in the description box below and I'll leave a link to that video. Or, or if you see the cards symbol, you can click on that at the top of the video. But I hope you guys will take advantage of the weather, especially when it's nice out. Um, these have been some unusual temperatures lately, uh, especially near the south area, um, where it's been pretty warm, a lot longer than normal. But if you get a chance, you know, get out there and ride your bike. You know, get some fresh air and uh, enjoy a wonderful activity as riding your bike. Take care, guys. I encourage you to stay focused, stay encouraged, stay positive, stay motivated, and stay hydrated. And always remember, you got this. If you like this video in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you think this channel is helpful to you or someone else, then please hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. This is Personal Fitness 3, where I want you to get motivated and stay motivated. I'm out.